every year is being different and we see the, uh, the seasons, they are not marked well and we see differences in, it, in our crops. Uh, all the agriculture is being uh, seen affected just because of the, of the weather. For example, a few years ago, maybe three or four years ago, I remember in April, it was snowing. We had a snow in April and the tulips, they got all damaged and it was the tulip festival and, the, and, and did not, we did not have enough to try to, for the economy. And you know, Mount Vernon and Skagit is at the big resource and economy here in Skagit. Lately, we've been, uh, we have been having um, many more resources. Uh, we seen, for example, uh, Mount Vernon School District is been developing and become more connected with the community. Uh, we have many more programs at the school district who um, they try to get engaged with the students and the families. And when we see those uh, um, activities and resources, then we can tell uh, families are more confident and more comfortable to being here in Skagit and working. And we have um, their experience, they bring their experience, they bring their stories of life to come, and they leave us a lot of themselves, and they, and they become more integrated in the community. I would say everybody gets hurt with the weather change or with the climate change. Uh, not just United States, I think everywhere, because like what I'm saying, I am from Honduras, and my family, my brothers, they work in the agriculture, and I, I have seen my brother calling me and said, you know, probably this time, my, my, my corn I, on my beans or my rice is not going to be well done because we didn't have enough rain or we did not have enough sun. Then everything is happening everywhere. 